Now the million dollar question. Did I measure it right? And does it fit? Okay. So let's see if I can get these in the shot. There's the chamfers. Looks pretty decent. Will I or won't I? I don't think I'm going to because if this pole came up further I'd be right but because it's on an angle I think I'm kind of screwed. Um, just need to give it a tiny bit of a relief here. So I just need to give the centre one a little bit of a tiny relief, not a heck of a lot. But this is where I think I'm going to come undone, is yes that will go down that way a fraction, but I don't think it's going to go far enough to allow me to get past this bar. So what I may need to do is put a cut down the center of the thing or maybe off to one side might be better off to do it to maybe one side but um, I don't think it actually would have made any difference with those bars were there or not because I'm already under the bars now so that really wouldn't have been an issue would have been a fly shit easier getting the board in but it really wouldn't have helped the situation any, I don't think. Uh, what to do, what to do? I could... I just grab the stand for a sec. If I do a cut at the back of the hole, I should be able to put these front two in and then flip it down, which will mean that that'll go around this bar okay and that should fit in and then I'll I've got the cut back there that may be covered at the front here anyway because I'm yet to work out whether I'm going to put something here I probably will put something here which will cover up the cut mark there yes I think that's the go I think I'll put a cut across there Okay, so theoretically this, I haven't made, moved the uh, frame that I just chopped out of just yet because it's bolted down, it's nice and square and this back uh, cut line should be parallel obviously if the, uh, the cutter's doing its job properly that should be parallel so if I push that back and maybe move these clamps to the front just to hold that in place the frame still being held rigidly at the back here and that would hold these guys down to stop that moving and then I can just do a manual cut across here and that should take care of that little problem well sounds good in theory let's give it a crack Okay, sounded good in theory, but this guy wasn't long enough to reach the board, so I've had to take the one from this corner, leaving that loose, but that's fine because we're not cutting that, we're cutting this guy. 
and that one's not bouncing because it's held down in the middle here. Okay, now my Z height, Z height hasn't changed, or well, sh should roughly be in the right spot. But I will do a light cut just in case it has come up. Okay, so you're in line, so it should chop through, hopefully, reasonably squarely. Let's let's find out. Theory and reality match up. Might go across at zero first, just to see how it goes. Okay, I want to do one mil at a time. spanners out one of these days. Okay. Are you going to come away? Yes you are. And that's for shits and giggles. Now this should theoretically be 0.8 of a millimetre. 1.2 Well, can't put it bigger than that. 1.1 So 1.85, 1 1.1. Right, I'm on a bit of a. There's no real clean edge there. Oh no, no, because the pattern's there. That's what I'm measuring on the pattern. 1.12. So there's about less than a tenth of a millimeter out from side to side in that spot. Yeah, it's not too bad considering I welded the frame underneath so I'll call that a reasonably decent done job okay let's see if this thing fits now this should be doesn't really matter I think one way or the other which way around it goes Get over there. easier to mount this time. Just come around here with a camera. That may even be able to easy to take it out the stand. Okay, I try to make this perfect sizing. Um, so I don't leave any thing on the room, no room for gaps or anything like that. I pretty much machine it to size. As you can see, that looks like it's going to fit reasonably well with a a tiny little bit of a a uh, clean up of the file, and that will be a a nice fit. Okay. 
Okay, let's give it a quick file and see if it fits in. I'd rather leave them a little bit big than a little bit small because that way you can always trim some off but you can't put it back on. It's my theory anyway. stick more if I can get it out without buggering up the pulling it apart tight fit reminds me of a girl I once knew there we go We're in. And let's have a look. I'll ship tight this side, so we'll do I'll do him first and then I'll check that side. Okay, let's have a look at that. I may need to take tiny bit off there but it's even most of the way along so I reckon I've probably got to take half a millimeter or so off that and this other end probably something similar something similar on that end I'd say all in all as I say rather be a, a fly should oversize than undersize let's see if the back bit fits You can see where the uh, the chamfers go around the welds. As I say, that was overkill, and I really didn't need to do that. But uh, that's just a little bit of OCD kicking in there. Okay, everything's screwed down in place. Uh, looks pretty good. I'm a, uh, about a millimetre out here, which is really bizarre when you think about it, isn't it? I mean, it's a fully welded three-dimensional object, and then a whole millimetre out. Jeez, I wonder how that happened. 
Uh, I'm sure there's more, more than a millimetre out in other places. Um, but anyway, I digress. Um, my issue or my thoughts are I hadn't intended on putting that cut in there. So that's lost a little bit of strength in the middle of the board. Although nothing is, the motherboard's going to sit back here, so it's not going to get a lot of work. And the keyboard's sitting here. And with a, a fair amount of force to make it bend, I don't think I'm going to be typing that hard, so I might get away with it. But I was thinking about running a, a um, piece of steel across from side to side underneath on this edge. Not because it needs it, but because, yeah, once again, the OCD just sort of kicks in. Um, I'm going to see if I can talk myself out of that. I'll, I'll do my best. Or I could even possibly, I don't even necessarily need to weld it. I could maybe just put it underneath and screw it onto this. Because um, that would give it enough strength. Just screwing it to the board. But anyway... Let's throw a keyboard up and see what it looks like. The first glimpse into what it may look like if I was to put a board down the bottom. Obviously it's just a piece of scrap that got left over. But uh, that's what it looks like. Got plenty of room here for the mouse to move around. Yeah, let's get rid of that. Plenty of room for the mouse to move around. That's covered most of the screen I reckon just there. Keyboard is a really good height, so uh, it's looking good. All right, this is the first glimpse of what it's going to look like. Obviously, there's no sides or anything like that on it at the moment, but for the first time, I will finally be able to sit my bum down and work on the screen. Touch screen here. Keyboard down here, mouse, good position, good height for the keyboard. Very happy how it's turning out. Long way to go. Don't know what I'm going to do here yet, whether I'm going to leave that open, which will allow me to move the mouse on here if I need to, but I don't think I would, or make some sort of panel that covers that in. I think I probably will wind up going with a panel to cover it in, but I will probably do something similar to the top and maybe put something like a pattern like that. I could probably even nearly use that piece. Um, in fact, I might even do that for the time being, just use that for the time being. Just use that so the cables can move around. Yeah, looking good.